Hi guys, welcome back to Macca's Takeaway and today we're going to be making a lovely, beautiful, succulent, juicy cheese and onion pie, a classic northern dish and it's going to be just like this, beautiful, so if you want to make some, come with me and let's go and make a takeaway. Right, okay, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So what you're going to need is very large onion this is going to be basically two of these sort of ramekin styles okay yeah obviously if you want to make a bigger pie just add a bit more so i've got one large onion i've got some Worcester sauce i've got some nice hot paprika i've got 220 grams of lovely please make sure it's an extra cheddar an extra mature cheddar that really gives it a lot of flavor uh, i've got one egg yolk in there which i'll be putting on the pastry at the end one potato, one large potato which I'm going to thinly slice and some short crust pastry. You can make your own but to be honest with you it's a lot of hassle so I've done some short crust pastry. So what we do is get over to the hob now and start making it. Right, first things first mate, not half of that. A good old knife is great but to be honest with you I'm going to cheat here guys. If you've got one of these, a mandolin, they're absolutely brilliant. Just make sure you use the guard, okay? Because uh, you don't want to be getting your little uh, pinkies uh, cut off. I've done it, and believe me, that is razor sharp, it's painful. So yeah, so just get, get your onion. Slice that, dead quick. Right down, just get rid of that piece there. Same with that one. They're absolutely superb, these. They're only a couple of quid from home bargains or whatever. Get rid of that piece. There you go, so that's that lot. And then what we're going to do is the same with the potato. So we'll pop that on there. Again, nice and thinly, that's the, the beauty of these, they cut really thinly. Um, so you get a lot of consistency there, so just do a little bit more. And there you go guys, so you've got all these pieces are really thin so that's what we need for the start off so um, basically what we're going to do is head over to the um, the frying pan or the uh, bigger shallower pan put the cheese in put the onions in and uh, we're going to put these in the microwave see you soon right we've moved into the kitchen okay so got the potatoes that I cut up before so literally just pop these in here okay and then we're just going to pop those in the microwave. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Just enough like that. And these are going to go in the microwave for about, I reckon, I don't know, 15 minutes, something like that, on full power. You just cover those up. And then we'll stick those in the microwave like that. Okay. And what you can do is just put a piece of the in there. And these go straight to here. We'll leave them for about 15 minutes. Okay, so over here, we are now going to get on the hob when I get organised. Got a big skillet pan here, this sort of thing. So I'm just going to put it onto this one on a medium flame, down to about there. Move that out of the way. And then I'm just going to get some olive oil, which is here. A little bit. Not too much. I might just put a little bit of butter in as well. Which I'm do now. Tiny little bit of butter or margarine. Use your butter. Always season your pan. Season it. Come on, big boy. Wow. Okay, so give it a little shake, wrap and roll with that. And then warm that through. We're going to come back to it in a minute. Right, one thing we should always do, remember when we're going to come up. <laughs> Get yourself a drink, mate. Always make sure you've got a nice beer on a cool winter's day or a nice warm sunny day. Lovely, right. And sizzling, if you want to come down here. That's all ready. So we're just going to add in the finely sliced onions. Just a bit of okay, And then as I said we've got about 220 grams 
of cheese. You might have to alter it depending on the size of the pie or the ramekins that you're going to use. Okay, and then what we're going to do, I didn't actually put this down, but we're going to put in a little chink of Tabasco or chili sauce, and also we're going to get the Worcester sauce here. Come into it. Little dash of that, and then also we're going to get a teaspoon good old Coleman's. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but believe me. A marriage made in heaven. Let's give that a nice little stir. And as I said, you know, a nice, uh, a nice sunny day. This is lovely, or a, a cold winter's evening. Absolutely superb. The potatoes are still going. They're in the microwave. Um, and then what I'm going to do? gonna add a slug of beer so there was a bit of a reason for that turn the heat up a little bit and then we're just gonna leave that to simmer out for about 20 minutes we'll come back to it soon catch you later well this is our pussycat Tig and she wants to come in Tig Tig pop quizzes on as well oh Tig Right guys, I've just turned the flame down and I've just been tweaking it a little bit. I've put a bit more paprika in it. Um, I know it looks a bit runny at the moment, but it will it will come round. It will come into a lovely sort of nice, gooey, lovely cheese and onion mixture. So just, uh, just bear with it. It's probably going to take about half an hour or something. And a nice low heat. Okay. Hey guys, what I'm doing is just going to add a little bit of uh, paprika, okay, and all these lovely flavours will just mingle into a beautiful, lovely mulch. So I just keep. Might take, guys. It might take half an hour. You might just need to take the lid, the um, flame down a little bit on the heat. But either way, just keep stirring it away and we'll come back. Right, okay guys, so just taking the, uh, the potatoes out of the microwave. As I said, they've been in about 15 minutes. They're gonna cook very quickly because they're, they're very thin because of the mandolin. So just give them a little prod. They go through very easily. So what I'm gonna just do basically is just drain, drain these off now into a colander. And then just let them sit there for a little bit and then we're going to put them in a dry tea cloth and just dry them off okay guys as you can see it's coming down to a nice thick consistency i have put um, a teaspoon of flour in this just to thicken the sauce up probably put a little bit too much beer in so if it does go a little bit runny just reduce it down add a teaspoon of flour uh, I've also added a little bit more of the um, paprika, which is really nice. <coughs> Let's do it that way. God, someone's at the door. Postman. It's locked down at the moment, so everything's kind of all strange. So there you go, guys. It's looking good. Uh, the potatoes are all done as well and uh, yeah we'll be ready to put those into the ramekins very very soon right guys okay here we are final bit um, I've gone for two types of pastry because I've run out the other one so we're doing a short crust pastry and a puff pastry uh, so here we go we're just gonna layer these ramekin pots with the potato and uh, pop that in there. They're very delicate because they've been in the uh, in the thingy in the 
of micro, give them a little season, and then we're going to uh, add this lovely mixture. Just spread that over. Then we're going to put some more potatoes on, like that. Probably could have done with a few more potatoes, but it'll be fine, it'll be alright. that out. Boom. Oh, he's going to be lovely. A little dash of pepper. And pop the lids on. Let's say one short crust and one's uh, <coughs> one's the puff pastry. Seen. It's going to have to be this one. Just trim that off. As I said, it is it's a hell of a lot easier, guys, if you could just buy your puff pastry or your, your made pastry. If you want to make your own pastry, you go for it. Okay. Put that to one side. Now, if you just go around. With your fork, like that. And just pop a little hole there. Same with this one. Self-explanatory. These are going to be absolutely superb. And then finally, guys, I'm just going to put on the uh, the egg wash. So it's basically a whole yolk. Well, basically a whole egg. And just brush that over. This just gives it a really nice sheen on the pastry. That will you will. Can't wait to get tucked into these later on. There you go guys, they are ready to go into the oven. So we'll pop them in, put them in at about uh, about 140, 150 for about 20-25 minutes and then uh, we'll take them out and we'll cut some up and show you what it's like. So I'll just pop those in the oven, as I say it's on about, about 150 and uh, We'll come back to them soon, about 20, 25 minutes. Right, here we go guys, it's all ready, so we're just gonna cut into it, and uh, hopefully we've got a nice, nice little pie. I'll just sort of loosen that around the edges there. I have lined the dish by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably go for a little bit more. There you go, guys. Beautiful. Serve that with, I don't know, salad or green beans or whatever you want.
Mm. Come on, it's gorgeous. Absolutely superb. Got a real good bite to it. Good cheddar cheese coming through. The taste of mustard, a little bit of beers in there. Absolute classic, guys. Pastry is beautiful. So there you go, my classic cheese and onion pie. See you later.